All right guys, welcome to another video. So today we're doing first impressions for our April company. Done a video for this company before it wasn't very pleasant, but this is Sun's Beard Care. I think in that other video I called them Sun's Beard Company, but my package finally did arrive. So we're gonna talk about it and do first impressions. So stay tuned through the intro. <music> My name is Doug, the Bearded Outdoorsman. Welcome to another video. So if you like beard product reviews, gear reviews, EDC videos, then you have definitely come to the right channel. Today, my package showed up. Well, not today, but the other day, my package showed up. Um, Sun's Beard Care, established in 2021. I did a video, it wasn't a very pleasant video. It was probably one of the hardest videos I've had to do on this channel since I started. Um, but a little backstory, if you did not catch that video, um, I placed my order on January 14th. I got an email on January 24th stating that my order had shipped. Um, my package arrived on the 21st of March and when I searched the tracking number and went in, it actually shipped on March 14th. So a big difference from January 24th to March 14th, but that's when it said it shipped. Um, at the time of filming this, the website is still private and Instagram is still private. Uh, so I'm gonna give them first impressions. I can't tell you anything about the, the website and all that as, as of right now. Shipping is horrible. Um, but after doing that video the other day, they have yet to reach out to me. Um, so, yeah. So we're going to be using the Gerber flat iron, big cleaver blade to get into this box and see what we have. Um, honestly, I don't even remember the scent name or the scent profile or anything like that. So let's get all this tape cut. All right. So I really like their um, their their sticker, their logo, that kind of thing. So let's get into this and see what we actually have. So there is our products. I did not pay for a comb, so they threw that comb in there. Sun's Beard Care, if it'll focus. Um, let me keep that to the side. Let's pull out our business card. Um, thank you for your order use promo code and they've got a um, promo code handwritten in here um, and with an email contact me at email sonsbeardcare at gmail for damages or concerns so we got that oh we got a couple other goodies under this shred so let's see now like i said in the other video i don't mind giving them an honest product review as of right now i kind of have negative things to say about the company but i don't mind giving them an honest product review after i use these products but we got three looks like three of the stickers so we've got stickers that are on the box we got three of those um and we've got a patch sun i am beard i have sun's beard care so i thought it was really unique that was that was why I purchased from this company, picked this company to purchase from. Um, and yeah, I thought they were really unique. I like their logo. I like the things that I saw at the time on their website. Um, so we've got our balm, I guess. I can't remember. Like I said, I can't remember if I ordered a balm or a butter. Um, and it's not going to want to focus find it and focus so we've got the kind of a green label the scent i ordered is dad so it's got kind of a grass background on that ingredients butters mango shea and a sbc oil blend and then sun's beard care i guess sun's beard care oil blend and then our oil looks the same it's in a cobalt blue bottle with a dropper top the front label looks the same, just smaller. Ingredients, coconut, castor, vitamin E, jojoba, olive, argan, almond oils, and essential oils. Off the rip, I can tell you that I don't have a problem with labels printed at home. Um, that's what these appear to be. They don't appear to be water resistant, oil resistant. I may be wrong. We'll test that out. 
Um, but it saves money on the company side of doing these labels themselves. So especially a startup company, I have no problems with that. I'm not going to beat them up over that. The labels look really professional and really unique. Um, I can't remember the scent profile, so let's give it a shake. And let's see what we have. So it's kind of a golden color. We've got measurement on the dropper itself. Um, kind of a medium thicker weight oil, not too thick. Ooh. It does smell good. I can't tell what my nose is picking up. It smells really good. It's nothing crazy. Um, so let's see. I'm guessing with these butters in here, now this combo that I got with an oil and either butter or balm um, was, was 30 bucks with shipping. That I do get out the can. I do get that shea, uh, that shea butter. So maybe once I warm this up and get it in my beard and in my hands, maybe that shea butter carrier blend scent will go away. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to give them an honest review. It was crazy that, all right, so my video that I did about the, the lag time in shipping um, and ordering, I filmed it one day, and we, we ended up going camping. I didn't get a chance to get it to go live. And then I made a, a, an error in scheduling on YouTube, and it was supposed to go live at 3. It ended up going live at 8 a.m., and... When I got home from work that day, my package was in the mail. So it's kind of funny how that worked, but I got no new email from the company saying anything about shipping, no new emails, period, after that email on the 24th of January. No emails, no correspondence whatsoever. Never added them on Instagram. Uh, so it wasn't like my video prompted the shipping. It just happened to come in on the same day that my video went live so there it is i'm gonna test these for the month of april i don't have a problem giving them an honest review i do want answers uh i want to know if this is a common occurrence and yeah if i find out anything we will definitely talk about more about this company at the end of april so tomorrow i will start using these products and I'll let you know all about it so well not tomorrow day after tomorrow um, so on April 1st, I will start using these products and I'll come back and give you guys an update at the end of April. So there you go. So until next time, stay bearded, get outdoors and God bless.